Hey guys, Josh here. I am, uh, I'm pretty excited right now. I'm on the water with Darren Pohannis and we are getting the chance to use the new Humminbird Mega Live Sonar. It's been a long time coming and I am super excited to see this thing in action. I'm gonna show you guys some of the different modes, forward, down, perspective, all that good stuff and uh, just kind of record from my first experience with Mega Live and uh, share it with you guys and let you guys uh, judge for yourself and see it first time in person, so. Keep in mind guys, we're fishing uh, the Red River right now in Manitoba. Dirty, murky water, a little bit of current, and we're still getting a clear, crisp image. So, trees right in front of us here. And as we pan left to right, you see those branches clear as day. Very cool. The fish on there, is there soon, or is that? Yeah, there's some of them right in the breath. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Fish and that's right in front of us guys. You can see those branches clear as day and there's yep, yeah, fish in between. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I I can't turn anymore. Yeah, I know, but you can see the you can see the tail and everything. There he is. Look at that. Assuming away he was hiding it. Yeah. That was another, oh, another one. one. Yeah. Look at him, he's coming, he's coming like, You see us. the fin? You see, yeah. look. Wow. Yeah. That's in forward mode too. So yeah, like you just said, this is, we're in forward mode right now, so we're actually shooting in front um, for ice fishing, and even if you're just jigging on the spot, you wanna put it in down mode, because it's gonna be looking straight down. We'll show you guys a little mechanism that's built into this. It's very simplistic. You basically have th three options. It flips up to perspective, angles down for uh, down, and then it, turns but I'll show you it a little more in depth in a second. So here we have it in the down mode right now and you can actually see there's a big school of fish right below the boat. We're actually on a little bit of an edge so you can see the deep side and as we're coming up it's a little bit shallower but I mean check out that school of fish right below the boat. That is so cool. So actually this is pretty cool. While we were filming the other shot we noticed a bunch of fish that were jumping so we just repositioned and if I actually pan the trolling motor off to the side I mean, check that out. Look at all those fish that are hanging around right there. That's actually where we saw those fish jumping, and they were just right at the front edge of that structure. And if I move around there, oh, there you go. There's a bunch more of them hanging out right there. So, very, very cool. Like I said, we noticed a few fish jumping. Put it in the forward mode. There you go. They can't hide now. Another test we're doing right now. So, we have it in forward mode, and we're going to see how far we can see out right now and how clear. This image is, guys, you're gonna be shocked. There's that stick. There's a stick sticking up there. Right there. See that? Right over there, there's a stick. Yeah. Anyway, but you can see, watch when I pan. Look how clear. Oh, there's a fish. fish right there. But I think the big thing is seeing. seeing well, you're looking 20 feet out right now. All right, guys, so as you can see, Darren has it mounted on his Altrex. This is for, uh, would you say, cable steer trolling motors only, correct? Yeah, for the Altrex and Fortrex, this is where you can mount it directly on if you're using any of the electric steers. Yeah. Um, the Alteras, the uh, power drives, Trovas, you'll want to use, you know, there are aftermarket options. Yeah. Um, but you'll typically be mounting some sort of pole mount, which okay. is pretty common now. 
Cool, cool. Well, how he has the magic here, guys, so you can see, it's very, very simple. Go ahead and show him, Darren. Right now it's in the forward mode. That's it, that's all. When you put it in the down mode, there you go. You just adjust those clicks. You wanna put it back to forward mode, just like that. If you actually wanna put it in perspective in the landscape, landscape mode, actually, yeah, you just a couple buttons on the side, click, that's it, that's all. There's no extra brackets, no adapters or anything that you need. Adjust it as you need to. There you go down mode done and you can set it on auto mode on the screen yeah it'll adjust it for you or you can manually adjust the different options cool so we saw that guys that's quick simple and efficient all built into one mechanism for us to get more time fishing and catch more fish hey guys i got a question for darren darren what is some what are some of the biggest advantages of mega live well mega live some of the biggest takeaways i would say it has to do with detail clarity and simplicity the detail, I mean, you've seen some of the images. Oh, I mean, 100%. Amazing, which you can actually see. We've actually got screenshots where you can see some of the fins on the fish, the tails, the all that open, sort of stuff. Awesome, it's, awesome yeah, detail. For sure. Um, the other thing is the clarity, the edge-to-edge -edge clarity, thanks in part due to Mega Imaging. We know Mega Down Imaging, Mega Side Imaging. Mega Live is no different. Amazing detail yeah. with Mega Imaging. And of course, the simplicity. The for simplicity sure. of That's the design. Huge. Absolutely. That's huge. Because you don't know accessories, no nothing. Absolutely. It's built into one unit. You have a power cable and you have an ethernet cable yeah. so with compatible units that's it that's all and of course the other thing is the adjustability too right here's the yeah. bonus thing where you don't need any other brackets or modifications you want to adjust it to the different modes yeah this is basically that's all it you need to do from so, landscape to forward to down mode and very simple that's the big thing too guys if you didn't know so there's no uh extra modules or anything it is a power cord and an ethernet cord that plug directly into your unit that's, that's it. it there's no black box extra hubs or modules Nothing. power cord ethernet edge to edge clarity simple system mega live awesome stuff awesome stuff Alrighty, folks and that's a little sneak peek of hummingbird's new mega live imaging pretty awesome stuff i think they're gonna take my money unfortunately um, if you like the video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll answer them the best of my knowledge. And uh, if I can't find it, I know a guy right here who can definitely answer them for you. So hope you guys like the video. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the next episode of Magic Fishing Adventures.